Today, the ATF officially enacted Australian-style gun control amnesty. Specifically, their rule banning pistol braces just hit the Federal Register, and the 120-day grace period clock starts today. Specifically, this rule classifies pistols with pistol brace attachments as short barrel rifles. And with a short barrel rifle, you are required to register it with the federal government under the NFA that normally costs $200. The ATF is graciously waiving that $200 fee and giving you a free registration for 120 days starting today. Now, a lot of gun owners that we've spoken to are actually excited about that because their perspective is the ATF is giving me a free short barrel rifle now. Um, and that's exactly what the ATF is hoping you will think because registration is the point. What's actually happening here is that the ATF is covertly using pistol braces to sell gun registration using Australian style gun amnesty as the bait. This is essentially the frog in the boiling water approach. They are hoping to get gun owners so used to going through the process, jumping through the hoops of registering your gun with the federal government, that in 30 years, it becomes the de facto approach for gun owners and that we don't think anything about it because it's been with us for so long. Now, lest you think that we're being very conspiracy minded here, this is exactly what happened 30 years ago. Um, the gun establishment lobby, the gun industry, accepted the compromise of the NICS background check system. That was supposed to save us from a universal centralized gun registry. But it was actually a backdoor to the same thing. So what we have 30 years later is an exponentially expanding database containing over 25 million gun owners who've been stripped of their gun rights without due process in a court of law. And it continues to grow every day. That is the same thing that the ATF is trying to do with this pistol brace rule. It's the same strategy. They want you to register your gun. And the free grace period to do that is the carrot they're dangling in front of gun owners, hoping they'll go for it. So make no mistake, if gun owners buy this, then we are much further down the road towards universal gun registration and ultimately confiscation. So that is what's at stake here. So before I get into that, I would, I, I would like to say first that I am not a lawyer and that this is not legal advice. I would strongly urge you, if you are in that boat, to consult your own lawyer very carefully before you decide what to do. That said, we've read through the rule. We've put together um, an informational sheet that we will link to in the, com in the comments below. Um, and it kind of goes over exactly what the rule does and what your options are. So I am going to just run through those real quick. Um, the first option under this rule, if you own a pistol brace configuration that is affected by this rule, first option is to register your gun with the government. We've already talked about the dangers of doing that, um, but there are more um, once you actually get into the process. If you happen to be a prohibited person and you don't know it, then attempting to register your gun will not only bring that to light, but you'll also be found to be in possession of something, you know, of a short, essentially a short barrel rifle as a prohibited person that could cause additional legal problems for you, massive legal problems. Um, and there are a lot of prohibited persons out there who do not know that and have been gun owning guns and buying guns for decades with no problem. Why? Because the records indicating that they're a prohibited person are paper records in some small police station. When that police station goes digital, those records hit the books and then you are in the NICS system, and for the first time in 40 years, suddenly you're flagged when you try to buy a gun. We've talked to gun owner after gun owner that this has happened to. And if you happen to be in that boat, then attempting to register your pistol brace and pistol can cause all sorts of problems for you as that comes to light. And I would also caution gun owners, do not think this is a free, um, brace period for any short barrel rifle. This only applies to the pistol pistol brace configuration that the ATF is describing. If you try to register a short barrel rifle that you own that's not registered, you're going to be in deep yogurt. So um, definitely look over the one pager and read through the other problems that you're going to run into 
once you actually get into the logistics of registering your gun. And bear that in mind if you're considering um, that option. Now your second option is to ignore this rule and risk becoming a felon. Now, again, this is an attractive option to some gun owners, but I would strongly urge you to consider very carefully the risks of doing this. Being caught with an unregistered NFA item is a felony. It's a maximum prison sentence of 10 years. It's a maximum fine of $10,000, and you could get hit with both. And remember, when you're in prison, there's not a whole lot you can do to fight for gun rights. When you get out of prison, you will not be able to exercise your gun rights. You, those, those will be stripped away permanently. And in some states, you will no longer be able to vote. You will no longer be able to take civic action to protect your gun rights at the ballot box. So consider that very, very carefully. Now, um, some would say the ATF's not likely to catch me. Well, don't be so sure about that. Um, Congress just voted a massive funding increase to the ATF to the tune of $117.5 million, and they're pushing a bill in Congress to hire an additional 200 ATF agents. And I would simply ask, what do you think they want to do with those agents? Option number three is to ask the ATF if your pistol, pistol brace configuration is actually a short barrel rifle, if it falls under the rule. One of the problems with the pistol brace rule is that it doesn't actually give a solid criteria set. It is very much discretionary up to, it, it's very vague, and it kind of, the ATF is taking it more or less on a case-by-case -case basis. Now, there are all kinds of problems with that, but the difficulty is that if, you're, if you don't know, you either have to risk registering, risk disposing it, risk doing nothing and being wrong, or you can send your gun into the ATF and ask them. And if you're considering that option, all I can say is bless your heart. Now, the fourth option is in some ways the worst one of all. It is to destroy your gun and or your pistol brace. Now, be aware that simply detaching the pistol brace from the pistol is not enough. The ATF has said in their FAQ about this rule that it's not enough. When you get that knock on the door or the ATF busts in your door um, and searches your premises and finds it, they're still going to ding you for possession of an NFA item without registration. So you can dis dispose of one, dispose of the other, or completely alter the pistol brace so that it can never again be used. Now, again, I reiterate, there are no good options here. All of these options are really, really bad. That is why what the ATF is doing here is so heinous. And that is why the National Foundation for Gun Rights, the legal arm, we are working on legal action. We are working behind the scenes with SB Tactical, who invented the pistol brace, and we're preparing to challenge this rule in court. On the legislative side, the National Association for Gun Rights is working with Congressman Bob Good, who has filed the Protecting Individual Sovereignty Through Our Laws Act, or the PISTOL Act. That is H.R. 381. And essentially that bill would simply block the ATF from ever classifying pistols and pistol braces as short barrel rifles. It's a simple, straightforward bill. And I would urge you to call your congressman and ask them to sign on to H.R. 381. Now, there are a few other things that you can do to help us fight this. So we have a petition in the description below where you can sign and ask your congressman to use the Congressional Review Act to block this unconstitutional rule. And we also have a link where you can donate to our legal war chest to help us fight this gun control and other gun control laws that are completely unconstitutional. We also have a link below where you can donate to our legal war chest to fight not only this unconstitutional rule, but also gun bans all over the United States um, and other unconstitutional gun control actions as we have the bandwidth to take them on. Um, so once again, download the one pager we have in the comments below uh, for more information on this rule and make sure you subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for updates. Thank you very much.